Right. Uh, Chief, how would you react to the result of this election, the fact that your party, the PDP, was roundly defeated? Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Virginia, for being in my guest house. Uh, this guest house, you see, I produce not less than three or four governors in Anambra. Here is my government house. Here is the seat of power. Where I produce governors, where I produce house of rep, where I produce senators in this house. It's quite unfortunate that uh, Governor Pitobi, which Jonathan imported into this party, he was a member of uh, he was a member of Fortuna. And he says he's a beauty member of Opoka. Then Jonathan now brought him into PDP. The first casualty of PDP is for Jonathan to make him the campaign manager for South South, South East, Southwest to coordinate the election. Everybody in Nigeria saw that accident. How Jonathan lost the election. Peter B was the coordinator. The same Peter B has been a governor in this state. But he cannot be that governor without my input. I have witness. Peter B came to me with Father Baka and Bishop Anipwenwa to beg me to become a governor in Anambra, and which I contributed. I made him governor. So now, in 2017, P2B went and import somebody from his party, which you don't know, I never met him before, called himself uh, Soluka. He was in Opoga. One month to the election, he imported him into PDP. And the man was disqualified. How do you mean he was disqualified? I thought he matched as your candidate. No, no, no. He was disqualified by the first panel, the screening committee. The screening committee. They later cleared him a match as a candidate. And they, now the man have a match as a candidate. As a politician, a Peter is a politician. He have to go around to talk to stakeholders. And this party, people have been nurturing this party. We have followers who have mobilized to win election in this party. The last election this party won was when I met in Kike governor in 2003. That when PDP ruled this state last. Since that time was a lot of impunity. A lot of impunity. No, Chief, you made a statement. You said uh, Peter will be uh, coming into uh, PDP and being appointed uh, the coordinator mm -hmm. for the Southeast for the Jonathan campaign was an accident. Yes. What, what do you mean by that? Is it wrong for a prominent person to have come into your party? No, no, no. no. What's happened is that uh, Peter will be himself. Peter will be himself is not a politician. He cannot win any election on his own. He has no capacity to win any election on his own. For, for Jonathan to look at Peter B and appoint him to be the, 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 the coordinator. That is the first accident PDP got. And secondly, why my heart is bleeding is that if you look at this election, a party like Opoga won us in the 21 local government, including Peter B's local government. And uh, Peter B, I have already did one interview before he people came in. And I say he must apologize to PDP. And why I'm saying this is I'm a BOT member of this party up to today. And I'm sending warning because of the convention on the, on the 9th of December. If we do not get it right, the party will be finished. You said you're sending a warning. Warning. What kind of warning? Yeah, to the party that they must get it right this time. He have seen what it cost, it cost us to impose a candidate. All our strong members of PDP, all of them decamp to Opoga. All of them right away decamp to Opoga. 
because they, they took this candidate hand over to Peter and they know that Peter B cannot. He cannot even this will he, this uh, governor Peter B is saying that he, 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 he put the governor. He didn't put the governor alone. He said, "Why?" President Jonathan threw Ogadome. Ogadome, he said, principal secretary, sent Ori Sameto, the publicity secretary, to come and beg me before this will really emerge as a, as, a, as a candidate. In this, my guest house, Ogadome now called me and thanked me. So Peter B knows that he cannot do it alone. And he went and hijacked this candidate, who is a visitor, he is a foreigner in Anambra State. And to go into a very serious election like this, and look at where he kept the party, he have he have ruined this party totally. Because to, to start go, doing the consolation, going to beg people to come back to PDP, it will take us a long time. So and that was why your party lost. Uh, lost totally. Parties. Lost totally. Look at look at look at APC in Anambra. Coming second, our party coming distance third. <laughs> distance third. Because people are not happy. People are not happy. But Chief, how true is the rumor that uh, some big names in the PDP actually worked against PDP that they did not support the party? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know that, that rumor is not the truth. The truth is that the big, the big people in PDP who are not happy, they come to up that. They decamped to Africa because of Peter B's uh, uh, behavior as candidate. Then all those candidates who run that primary with, uh, with so-called uh, 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 Soloka, all of them was very angry, and they have followers. Some of them are in court, some of them are this. So that is the cause of the accident. So PDP has no, PDP is not part of this election. I want to tell you the truth. They are not part of this election. PDP is not part of this election. So I was surprised how they came to talk because they're not part of the election. Are you also aware that even apart from the big names, there were others who did not support the PDP, who are you know, even elected officers on the platform of the PDP? Because they don't want to get involved. The one I cannot say whether they work against, but I know some of them doesn't want to get involved. A lot of them in National Assembly, they don't want to get involved. And you can see somebody who is a House of Rep member, who doesn't want to get involved, where he's representing uh, about two constituency. Don't you know what that, what that means? It's going to cause PDP a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, problems. In a party, in a party, uh, in a party, in 21 local governments, I have not told this party. I bought vehicle for them. I have sponsored this party. I spent my money in this party. I won an election. I won an election in this party. There is no way, if we do this thing right, and we are in this election, there is no way up down with beat us. There is no way. But they didn't want to listen. They kept quiet. And I refused to talk. I said I will not talk till they got, they got last. Where they are now. They are lost. Not even top. This is a party who is strong. This is a party who is talking to win uh, president in 2019. Cannot even uh, win a state. And my annoyance again is that some of these governors who came to campaign with P2B cannot be governing their state without my input. They, they could have asked P2B. Where is somebody like the Chief Priest over? Why is not in this rally? Who is a DOT member of this party? They did not do that. They just come and campaign and go. Even in their own state, they couldn't function without me. <laughs> so this is what we are seeing in this party. So going forward, what is the way forward, Chief? The way forward is that they must do things right. Now people are campaigning. Now people are campaigning. They should allow us to choose our own chairman. They could allow us to, to vote and choose our own chairman. Not to go and induce people with money and they import a chairman again. It will scatter the party. 
when you say allow you to choose your chairman, are you against a consensus candidate? No, 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 nothing like consensus candidate in an election. People are running this election. People, people who have capacity are running this election. Can you spot consensus? All of them will go to the field and lobby people to vote for them. If you tell me your manifesto and you lobby me very well and I know you can carry this party along, I vote for you. I vote for you. Uh, Chief, uh, people know you very well, uh, yes. that uh, you always have where you're going at any point in time. Do you have a candidate? Uh, on, on, this, uh, on this night of December. Yes. I don't have a candidate yet, but I'm watching all the candidates. But I'm going to tell my people to vote for the best. I'm going to lobby for the best to ruin this party. Because any, any, what, what they want, they want somebody they can, they can call any day on telephone to come and answer them, sir. That's what they want. They don't want somebody who has a character. People are not comfortable with anybody who has a character. They want somebody, uh, uh, would you wear a, can you see me now, yes? Can you take Tony to be candidate, to be senator in the, in the, in the near South? He said, yes, sir. That's what they want. No, you're also one of the godfathers. Yes, I agree. I'm one of the confidants, but I choose the best candidate. I choose the best candidate, and I allow primary to happen. I allow primary to happen. I'm a native of Aguata, I'm a native of Uga. I live in Uga. This guest house here, I told you, when I started politics, I built this guest house. Because I don't want to stay in a hotel. Ask anybody who is running an election. All of them, who is running an including of us, let me show you his accommodation in Uga. All of them are in one hotel or the other. I never hung in any hotel. I stayed in my own guest house. I have my cook, I have my security, I have my steward. And this year I planned my election. But I kept quiet. I never talked to any, anybody because I kept quiet. And my people was very angry. And immediately Peter B came in. He went and brought all those old commissioners who is angry with, uh, with uh, Willie. Who doesn't, even in their town, nobody knows them. <laughs> in their town. Politics is by people liking you, not by, not by you making noise. And Peter B cannot be boasting, testing power, which you cannot be governor without people like us. <laughs> what is the magic? Peter B has no capacity, never run any election before. I say this, he never run any election before. And if you want me to expose him more, I will expose him more if, you don't, if care is not taken. Because I want him, I want Peter B to apologize to PDP. Members of PDP in Anambra, stakeholders, somebody like me who is a DOT in five pages of Mr. Park. And I gave him one week to do that. Otherwise, I know what to do. Thank you. Going beyond the politics of your party, the PDP, what do you think are the things that work in Obiano's favor for him to win this election? Uh, no, number one, number one, I want to tell you something. Obiano is a good man. Uh, Obiano is a good man. And he, he, he's doing well. He's doing well. As far as I know, Obiano is, is doing well. Look at you, you are not in Anambra, nobody kidnap you. Nobody harass you, you can move around. Apart from security, the man is doing some roads. Apart from roads, the man is doing agriculture. In the school, the man is trying. The man has done perfectly well for the three, 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 and, uh, three and a half years, going to four years. So it's because of the bees having problems with... I have had that issue, that type of issue before in Nigeria, I know that. Between me and Indigen. I have not the same issue, but I don't deceive people. And to say, I know how I handle my own, my, my own thing. I did not consume anybody. I did not scatter the party. I did not mess up the party. Obi is not a party man. Don't you see Obi parading himself in, in the TV every day, say that he has one watch, one shoe, one. If he's a lecturer, he don't do a, a lecture. Thank you. Chief, we would like to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've not seen you explode like this. No, 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 no. This thing, is, uh, this thing is terrible, I'm telling you. I'm the, what I'm saying is that they should watch all these people running for this chairmanship and give us the best chairman. This one they are talking to take over from APC 2019. It cannot be possible unless we get the, the best chairman. And chairman who has capacity. Chairman who has vehicle before. Chairman who has bank account too. Not, not one great chairman. That one will scatter us more. They will continue putting chaotic, chaotic in all the local government. A better chair, a solid chairman who can move the party forward.
and that's where we are. I'm a BOT member of this party. At my age, if I tell you the age I became BOT member in shop, before you can be BOT member in PDP, you must be 50 years. I become BOT member of PDP at the age of 30. It's because of what I do. It's not by anybody. It's, not, it's a gift to me. Me and Waziri, the man who died in plane crash, we are the youngest. We are the youngest. And now somebody came in and hijacked the party. Okay, if you are building a house, a three-story building, if you came to a three-story building, you put a penthouse where you as a landlord will relax with your family. A tenant who is coming to rent the house is not telling you to go down. Let him live in penthouse. That's what people really did. And they want to hijack the party. And they couldn't because they have no capacity to hijack the party. Huh? Thank you once again. Thank you.